Hi everyone, welcome to Math and Logic. Today I will show you awesome puzzle based on a decade old picture. It was used to test power of observation and deduction of scouts in Soviet Union. They call them pioneers. Have a look at this picture and try to answer all nine questions. Here is the picture showing tourists at their camp. How much information can you get from it? Here are the questions. Pause the video now to find the answers. Answer to last one is a bit far-fetched in 21st century, but anyway. Are you ready? 3, 2, 1, let's go! First question. How many tourists are camping here? Easy one as a warm-up. We see only three people in the picture and three names on the schedule, but there is four lined there. Also, you see four plates and four spoons, so there are four tourists camping here. Second question. Did they arrive today or a few days ago? Today is very unlikely due to an impressive spider's web between the tent and the tree. There are other hints for that, which will appear in a moment. Third question. How did they get here? Oars at the right indicate they came by a boat. Question number four. Is there a town or a village nearby? Chicken visible in bottom left corner usually is not a wild beast, indicating that the village or similar settlement is nearby. 5. Does the wind blow from north or south? Flag on the tent and also the flame indicate that the wind blows from the left, but is it south or north? At school you could learn how to find direction in the wild. We see a shadow, but we don't know the time of the day yet, so it will not help much. There is no moss in the picture, but there are three branches, and clearly branches on the left are bigger than on the right side. Branches grow bigger on the sunny side, so on south side, and this means that wind blows from south. Question number 6. What time of day is it? We know directions on the picture, so we can find the time of the day now. From the shadow of one of the tourists, we see that sun shines from this direction, so from the east. Sun rises in the east, so this must be morning, shortly after sunrise. This also makes it even more unlikely that tourists arrive today, set up the camp, spider made a big web, and it's still morning. 7. Where did Mike go? Mike? So Mike must be the fourth tourist not visible on the picture and with his name obscured by the bush in the schedule. Where is he then? You can see behind the tent that a butterfly is chased by a net. Net must be in the hand of Mike, so Mike went catching butterflies. Question 8. Who was on duty yesterday? Well, this implies that they didn't arrive today, doesn't it? Let's find out who is on the duty today first. It's not Mike for sure, he's hunting big game today. On backpacks we can see letters C and J. There are names on the schedule starting with those letters, so those must be initials of the owners. Colin is likely browsing his own stuff on the left. But what about James? He's taking pictures or cooking the lunch? A camera stand is sticking out from the backpack, so James must be the photographer, most likely taking pictures right now. This leaves Peter on duty today. So yesterday, it was Colin. Question 9. What day and month is it? Yes, that last, a bit far-fetched one. The day is of course the 8th, according to schedule. But of which month? I couldn't figure it out myself, but the watermelon gives it away. Decades ago, we could safely assume that they got it from nearby village during or just after harvest. And harvest used to be there pretty much only during August. Today, with enhanced fertilizers and logistics, you can buy watermelon at any time in a supermarket in almost any town or village. But knowing this picture is old, you could figure this out. If you knew something about watermelon cultivation, that is. Did you like the whole puzzle? I think it's great one and hard to come by these days. If you enjoyed it, you can hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. You will find uh, more puzzles and problem solving, as well as methods for quick mental calculations. Thanks for watching!